At the end of 1936 the Young Arsenal Company under the direction of Michel Vernus and chief designer Jacques Gautier, hence the abbreviation VG in the company's aircraft designation, began to develop the Allwood VG.30 fighter. The development was initially done in a proactive manner, and the designers had an ambitious goal of creating a light aircraft at least as good as the MiS-406 C-1 fighter in terms of flight characteristics. The machine somewhat resembled the appearance of the future Italian fighter Machim MiS-202 Falgari. The prototype made a favorable impression on the Ministry of Aviation specialists, and after a while the A.23 specification was issued, which, so to speak, legalized the new machine. During the construction of the VG.30.01 prototype, the designers abandoned the original Potes 12 DC engine, 610 HP, in favor of the Hispano Suiza HS 12 XCRS, which was somewhat more powerful, 690 HP, and most importantly, it allowed the installation of 20 mm guns in split cylinders. This armament was to be supplemented by four 7.5 mm machine guns mounted in the wing. The prototype took off for the first time on October 1, 1938, and from March 24 to July 17, 1939 it was officially tested and showed good flight data. In one of the dive flights it reached a speed of 805 km per hour. However, the machine was not put into production. The designers offered a version of VG.31 with smaller wing, even more powerful engine HS-12Y31, 860 HP an armament of 20 mm gun and two machine guns. It did not make it to flight tests. Tests in the wind tunnel showed that the shorter wings had worse load-bearing characteristics and had a negative effect on the control ability of the plane. It was dangerous to take such an airplane up in the air, so the company decided to use the wing for static tests. The fuselage and engine were used as the basis for a third prototype which was designated as VG.33.03, which also did not fly and was only used for ground tests. The version with a HS-12Y31 engine and enlarged wing, designated VG.33, was considered the most promising. The VG.33.01 prototype took off on April 25, 1939. In September of that year, after the war had already begun, the development company and Tinkin at Charterville, formerly CAMS, placed large orders for production of VG.33 aircraft totaling 1,000 aircraft. Because of problems with raw material supplies, production was severely delayed and 19 aircraft were produced before the French surrender, of which only 10 were accepted by the Air Force. About 140 more machines were in various stages of production. Basic Modification VG.33 C1, HS-12Y31 Engine, 860 HP Armament was 120 mm Hispano Suiza HS 404 cannon, 4 7.5 mm Moss 1934 machine guns. In addition, a number of modifications, which were the further development of the VG.30 design, were never put into production. Among them are VG.32 C1, a variant of the VG.33 for the American Allison V1710 C15, 1150 HP, engines. The fuselage was lengthened by 0.42 m. It was equipped with two 20 mm guns and two 7.5 mm machine guns in the wing. The VG.33.05, VG.32.01, prototype was assembled in early 1940, but was not tested in flight. Plans to produce 400 VG.32 C1S at the Misklen factory in Clermont-Ferrand were never implemented. VG.34 was a high-altitude version with an HS-12Y49 engine, 910 HP, and a Shidlowski Paney all-compressor. The prototype was tested since January 20, 1940. VG.35 version with HS-12Y51 engine, 1000 HP. The prototype VG.33.04, VG.35.01, was flight tested on February 25, 1940. VG.36 The engine was the same as the VG.35, but with a new radiator. Externally it looked very similar to the American P-51 Mustang. This prototype got off the ground for the first time on May 14, 1940. VG.37 This was an unreleased draft version of the VG.36. VG.38 An unrealized design for a HS-12Y53 or HS-12Y77 engine. VG.39 HS-12Z89 Tur engine, 1200 HP. 
It was armed with five 7.5 mm machine guns, one in the engine case, four in the wing. The prototype was tested on May 3, 1940. The VG.39 BIS was the anticipated production version of the VG.39 with a HS 12Z 17 engine, 1600 HP, an armament consisting of one 20 mm cannon and six 7.5 mm machine guns in the wing. Flight and technical characteristics of the Arsenal VG.33C1. Engine, Hispano Suiza HS 12Y31. Power, HP, 860. Wingspan, M, 10.80. Length of aircraft, M, 8.55. Height of the aircraft, M, 335. Wing area, square M, 14,00. Weight, kg. Empty aircraft, 1,800. Normal takeoff weight, 2,450. Maximum takeoff weight, 2,720. Maximal speed, km slash h. On the ground, 442. At altitude, 558. Rate of climb, m slash s, 12,85. Ceiling, m, 11,000. Flying range, km, 1,200. Service and Combat Application Supplies of single VG.33C1S began in April 1940. In May they formed a test squadron EAA-301 with seven planes. According to its pilot's opinion, the combat value of the new fighter was rather low. Soon two machines were returned to the factory as prototypes for later production. Two more machines were given to GCI-2, which had flown the Moransal EA Ms. 406C1. In this group the VG.33C1S made several combat sorties beginning with June 10, 1940. On June 15 to 17, the Polish pilots who had flown them as part of the Air Defense Squadron covering Bordeaux. After the defeat of France, five VG.33C1S became German trophies. One of them was tested in Reeklin. The fate of the VG.33C1 turned out to be very complicated, and its history is indicative in several ways. First, the Arsenal example clearly shows the evolution from flawed in concept light fighters to a reasonably good full size aircraft. Secondly, the experience with the introduction of the VG.33C1 into series production has shown that the wooden design is by no means technologically simpler than the metal one, and in French conditions it is not suitable for mobilization deployment.